Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to study about rectangles and squares. First of all, I have here a big purple rectangle like that. And you see inside it are many little squares. We're going to count how many little squares are there inside it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen little squares. Let's do the same here. I have here a blue square and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you see that these little squares give us a means to measure or tell how big a rectangle or square is. Obviously this is bigger, right? Because it had 15 little squares inside and this one had only 9. And now here I'm going to draw one that has 12 little squares inside. So that's, not, that's going to be a little smaller than this one, but bigger than this one, okay? And if you try to do the same, there's actually several different rectangles you can draw having 12 little squares inside. So, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See, that will work. Like that. But there's another way to do it. Let me show you real quick. It would go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then another 6, because 6 and 6 makes 12. And then one more different way would be, if my grid continued, I would just take 12 little squares in a row and make a really skinny long rectangle like that. 16 little squares, okay. One way I can draw a rectangle with 16 little squares inside is, if I just take 16 little squares in a row. I just don't have a grid big enough to do that. And then I could think that 16 is 8 plus 8. So I could draw 8 and 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, I can do that. Kind of like that, okay? 8 and 8. Can you think of one more way of making a rectangle with 16 little squares inside? You know, since we have 8 and 8, we could take half of that. Half of 8 is 4 and make 4, 4, 4 and 4, right? Let me just sketch it for you here. 4, 4, like that, there. Over here, we're going to draw a pattern repeating this idea here. And I want you to analyze, can you tell how many little squares are inside that rectangle? There's all those little dots, and so if I break it up into, it would go here, here, and here. You can see four little squares inside it. And this one is the same size. It also has four little squares inside it, but it is offset by one. It's like one unit that way in comparison. So now if I want to repeat the pattern, I would go here so that I take four squares like that and then continue here also like that so that there's four squares inside my rectangle and then I can go one more like that. Now on this row I also want to use the same size rectangle but offset it by one square so I start it here like that and then one two three four four that way and then four like that. So it creates a pattern going that way. And lastly here, we're going to repeat this pattern. And Matthew, would you like to try? Would you like to repeat this pattern? Yeah, in a moment. Okay, let us look at it first. What's in this pattern? It's using squares, or one square there, and rectangles. There's four rectangles, and each rectangle is how big? How many little squares are inside this rectangle? Two, right. One, two. So each rectangle is two squares big. 
so to speak. And they go around in that kind of a pattern. And all in all, this here forms a square, right? A square that is one, two, three, three units long. Let me make the next one in blue. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Like that. And then in the middle there is the little one square that is colored. Like that. And then over here I have a rectangle that is two units, two squares big. And here I have a rectangle like that. Then here is one that is standing up, like that. Okay, Mathy, now it's your turn to try. Copy it over there. Okay, Mathy, it's not done yet. You need to continue a little bit. So you have these four rectangles there. You're doing a good job. See, just like that. Okay. And we can continue it over here too. Want to try a blue one, Mathy? Maybe under the red we'll make a blue. Let's see. Yeah, you go three units down. Three units that way. And then make the middle. There. And now those other rectangles. Yep, that's one. It's kind of like four rectangles surrounding the square. And then we could repeat here, here, and go down. Okay, repeating the same pattern. It's like tiling a floor. You could think of these as tiles in a pattern that you can put on the floor. And in your book, you can design your own patterns like that using rectangles and squares. So it's a lot of fun. We're all done with this lesson. <laughs>